Hey guys, so this is my tutorial of the look that I was wearing in my Happy Friday Night um, video a while ago because I got a lot of people saying they wanted a tutorial of the look. So I went ahead and I did it again because I love this makeup look and it's really fun to do. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any other questions, comments, please leave them below. And here's the tutorial. Okay, so first we need a piece of tape. I'm going to stick it on the back of my hand just a couple times so it's not quite so sticky on my face before I put it on my face and pick the angle that you'd like and leave a little bit of room in between the tape and the corner of your eye so just a little bit maybe that much space next we're going to take my pink translucent Clinique powder you could take any translucent powder I just like the pink for under my eye and I'm gonna put a whole bunch of that all over here because this is a dark look and I don't want dark fallout on my face. Next I'm going to take Max Black Brown Paint Pot. Just dark black base. If you don't have a base like this you can use an eyeliner or anything like that. So and then I'm just using Clinique's fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm putting that right in there and I'm just going to cover my entire lid. It kind of helps to at first pat it across and then blend it. And you want to just blend it upwards a little bit, not too far, but you want the whole lid to be covered. Okay, so it's looking kind of crazy, but it'll look cool later, I promise. Um, I'm going to take a MAC color, and I'm really sorry, this color was limited edition. It's one of my favorite colors ever, Mystical Mist. From time to time, you can find it on the MAC website. It's basically a really dark, smoky um, purple. I'm using my 239 brush, and I'm going to pick up that color and put that all over the lid. Now, even though I extended that smoky area over there, I'm just putting the Mystical Mist on the lid space up to the crease not so much over there okay um, I'm gonna remove the tape I'm gonna take a definer brush from Stila and my black round paint pot and run that along my lower lash line make sure you connect it with the upper lid like that And I have a little bit of fallout, so I'm going to clean that up. And it's good to go over that area where you remove the tape with some powder because it's going to have picked up a lot of your makeup, so you don't want the eyeshadow to stick onto your skin there. Next, and this is the key step, which is going to change the whole look, Violet Pigment by MAC, 217 brush. Be liberal with this. Use a lot. Um, pick up a lot. Pack it into the lid, tap off the excess, and then just go right into the crease like that. And also blend it up. Next take just any little pencil definer brush that you have and take the same violet pigment and run that over that black round that we put on the lower lash line. And even put some on your inner tear duct right there. I'm going to take um, Stila's Mazatlan eyeshadow trio. Just this light um, outer color. Just a nice um, highlight. But you can use your favorite highlight. And I'm going to place that over the violet up here. Next I'm going to take a Q-tip um, and take that line in. So I'm pretty much just erasing the line with little motions like that. So you don't have that really harsh line there. And take off the corner. I'm going to go back with the 217, pick up a little more violet and kind of sweep that upwards on top of that highlight. Okay, next I'm going to take my Stila Smudge Pot in black and just make a pretty thick line on my upper um, lid right by my lash line. Um, next I'm going to take Max Eye Coal and Smolder and just line my waterline. Line 
just the outside of your upper lash line as well. To give it a really dark effect. I'm going to take that same Stila Definer brush we used for the black round, and just kind of smudge that line out on the bottom so that it fills in the lower lash line. And I'm going to put on my lashes and do my eyebrows and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to throw some um, Throb by Benefit on my cheeks using a craft brush, which is this um, Princeton 1-inch mop. Just big fluffy brush. I love it for blush um, like this. It's a really light, pretty pinky color. You're barely going to be able to see it. It just adds a really natural sweep of color because my eyes are so intense. I don't want anything too heavy on my cheeks. I want them to be like curlier. So just adding a little bit of that. And then on my lips, I'm going to do um, just a really simple Viva Glam 5, which is a luster finish, so it's not too... Um, Heavy. I'm not even going to line my lips, um, just to show you the color. That's basically the color of the lipstick. I'm using this one from Lola Cosmetics called Fantastica. Which basically is just a pink glossy fun finish. Um, I'm just switching up my lips a little bit for my regular nude, but... Um, in the video I was wearing my nude, but this is just another option. So if you want to go with a nude, um, you know, pick out something like Plink is an awesome one for MAC. Um, if you want a matte one, the Creme de Nude um, Cream Sheen Lipstick, perfect. But this is just kind of a fun, more like brown, pinky lip. So this is basically the finished look, and um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope